As you learn about the narcissistic pattern, it's also wise to reflect on the much healthier alternatives. Now below, you're going to find a link to my new extensive course called Ready, Set, Connect. It addresses both the mindset and the skills involved in gratifying relationships, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. I'm going to begin today with a gross understatement, and that is the, the longer you're with a narcissist, the more you begin realizing these are not healthy people, okay? Let's just acknowledge that right up front. Over time, narcissists become creators of misery. Uh, they have a strong commitment to propping up their own insecurities by holding you down, and that's that's the, uh, the difficulty that you wind up getting ca uh, caught up in. And their, their need to squelch you to elevate themselves, frankly, has no limit. Now, there can be all sorts of small illustrations of how this can work. For example, if they have an opinion, it's, it's not just a right opinion in their mind, it's a better opinion. And you have to go along with their better opinion. Or if you have a preference, rather than saying, well, you have your preferences, I have mine. No, they'll, they'll insist. You have to adapt to my preferences. And they have just this need to overwhelm you and be in control of you and to be in the superior position. And in doing so, they try to rob you of your distinctives. Now, over time, what this does is it wears you out emotionally. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, naturally, you may want to assert yourself. You may want to stand up and speak on behalf of your good common sense. You want to establish boundaries. And by the way, all of that is, is good and right. But no self-impressed narcissist is going to just walk away saying, okay, <laughs> they can't do that. Uh, the, the more strongly you stand up to them, then in the narcissist's mind, they have one huge thought. And that is, I'm going to exact vengeance upon you. Now, the biggest mistake that you can make, the worst thing that you can do with a narcissist is to determine that you will seek vengeance against them. When they seek vengeance against you, you give it right back. When they show evil toward you, you show evil towards them. When they insult you, you insult them right back. That's the worst thing you can do. I, now, I know this is a bit of a hyperbole, but I, I just I literally want you to think, what would it be like if you got into a wrestling match with an alligator. <laughs> the alligator's going to win, and it's not going to be good for you. That's not a very smart thing to do. And basically, if you come back to a narcissist with your own need to exact revenge, it's going to work out really poorly. Now, I know that there are all sorts of things that might go through your mind, uh, and, and let's take a look at those. But I want you to see that in the long run, even though your feelings may be legitimate, the strategy may not be. For example, you may think toward that narcissist, you think you want to control me? How about if I try to control you? And then so you can make demands of them, you can use threats towards them, you can push back uh, uh, with, a, uh, with aggressive anger when they come at you aggressively, and you can get caught in that control, counter-control flow. That's, that's a, a, a temptation for you. My question is, does it work? Are you a better person because of that? Does the narcissist change? Or you might think, oh, so the narcissist wants to reject me. Well, how about if I show rejection toward that person first? I'll reject you. And so uh, you, uh, you can uh, speak words of insult and you can let them know that uh, you have a, a really low regard toward them. You can let them know that you never did really like them in the first place and you can give them all sorts of, uh, of uh, fuel where you let it be known, well, you're just not that good of a person anyway. Well, is the narcissist going to think, well... Upon further review, I, I, I need to think that through carefully. No, it's only going to be throwing kerosene on the fire, or you're going to be wrestling with that alligator, keep in mind. Or let's suppose that uh, that you know that the narcissist is going to uh, lean on other people, 
and uh, speak words of, uh, of shame about you to other individuals. So you think to yourself, oh, so you think you're going to re uh, turn other people against me? How about if I return and turn those people against you? What do you think about that? And so you wind up uh, going to the court of public opinion and you try to let other individuals know how awful this narcissistic person is. And, and you just do a, the smear campaign against that narcissist that you know they're going to try to do against you. How well does that tend to work out? And by the way, I don't think it's wrong for you to talk with friends, mutual friends and, and uh, allies, but you want to be very careful in the way that you do that. Um, and uh, just uh, to speak on a personal level, most folks aren't going to really appreciate uh, feeling caught between in the crossfire between you and that narcissist. You want to be very careful there. Or you may think, you know, that narcissist has shamed me quite a bit. Why don't I just return the favor? Why don't I shame that narcissist and, and let them know just how awful they really are? So you can speak words of condemnation. You can speak words of contempt towards that other person, toward that narcissistic person. You may uh, remind yourself that that narcissist has shown very low levels of empathy. And so you can explain to that narcissist, here's what you need to understand about me. And here's what you don't know about who I am. And you need to have that empathy toward me. None of it works. In fact, not only does it not work, it, it takes you to your own ugly place and it simply fuels the uh, the narcissist and just uh, 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 causes them to go into uh, an even worse kind of dimension. And so I, I know that it's uh, it's a natural desire for you uh, to want to seek vengeance when that narcissist has been a misery creator. Uh, but let's keep in mind a few key truths that we do know about narcissists. Uh, first and foremost, let's understand narcissists are pathologically irrational. They're pathologically defensive. You're not going to break through when you try to uh, convince them of whatever truths that you're wanting for them to understand. In addition, let's also remind ourselves that narcissists have a deeply underdeveloped conscience. Uh, one of the things you want to do is you want to appeal to a, a narcissist's sense of decency, to their sense of right and wrong. What if that, uh, that sense of consciousness, uh, that the conscientiousness, that sense of decency is just not very well developed? And you, here you are in the middle of, of a strife and difficulty. I don't think that's the time when it's going to start happening. In addition, one of the things we're going to remind ourselves about narcissists is they must be in the position of power. And so when you come at them with your own overpowering way in reverse, all you're going to do is ratchet it up and it's going to be a, 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 a clash of the titans and the narcissist is not going to quit until they feel like they have demolished you. Is that what you want? Uh, in addition, let's remind ourselves that narcissists are very fear-based. In fact, we can say that they have a great deal of paranoia. You know, what are you doing to me and why are you not treating me the way that I want? But when they feel fear, the fear comes out as aggressive anger. And so the more you put them in that fearful, uh, defensive posture, it's a virtual guarantee that they're going to come back at you with some form of hostility. It simply is a guarantee. And then we're also going to say that correct or incorrect, narcissists are very willing to play the role of the injured victim. We call it narcissistic injury. And when they feel like you've come against them and their character, uh, then they're just going to make you pay. So when I say that the worst thing that you can do to a narcissist is to seek revenge, I think we also want to ask, well, does that mean then that you're just supposed to lay down and let the narcissist roll right over you? No, that's not what I'm saying. You still have the need and the right to stand up in self-respect. It's It remains reasonable for you to live inside your convictions and your boundaries, knowing full well that the narcissist will say, I don't agree with your convictions and your boundaries. A lot of people say, well, I try to set boundaries and the narcissist doesn't appreciate it. 
Okay, they don't appreciate it. Set your boundaries anyway. Establish your stipulations. Establish who you're going to be. It remains reasonable uh, in the uh, field of public opinion to discuss your relationship with that narcissist up to a point. But you don't want to get into a public fight about who's correct and who's un uh, incorrect. Ultimately, people are going to judge you based on what they know about your character. And so you don't have to go into a strong convincing uh, mode in that regard. It's definitely reasonable for you to say, you know, what I uh, will do is I'll remove myself as much as possible from that narcissist's life, uh, no contact if possible. Uh, but when we talk about setting aside revenge, it does not mean that you have to set aside self-preservation. It does not mean that you have to set aside your intelligence. It does not mean that you have to set aside your decisiveness nor do you have to set aside your connection with the allies that you have in your life. But it does mean that you accept ugly truth about narcissists. And some of the ugliest truths that we can say about narcissists, particularly when you're in this mode where there's a, a split or there's a, a parting of the ways, narcissists are devoid of love. Narcissists are devoid of honor. They're devoid of insight. They're devoid of a sense of fairness. They're devoid of any regard for you. They're devoid of any uh, restorative forms of guilt. Uh, it's just what they are. The narcissist has concluded that the only thing that matters most is protecting their own fragile ego. So when I encounter narcissists who are of that nature, and then we're thinking, well, should we try to get some revenge against these individuals? My response is, why don't you just go ahead and be you? That's to the narcissist. But in the meantime, I'm going to be anything but a mirror image of you. That's your best revenge. Now, I hope that that video such as this can give you some good food for thought. And I'm hoping that you can learn how to practice your own sense of self-care, particularly when you're in the presence of someone who doesn't care about uh, attending to your needs. If you've not already hit that subscribe button, I would encourage you to do so, and we'll keep more videos coming in your direction. Hit that notification bell. If you have a need for therapy, and many times as you're thinking this through, uh, you know that it would be helpful for you to seek out someone who could help you process this in a very constructive way. We have a sponsor, and I'm very pleased to be associated with the BetterHelp people. Their link is below, and you can go through that link and, and get some of the help that you would need with online therapy. In addition, I've put together courses, and uh, these are meant to be a therapeutic effort. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Uh, one course, uh, Ready, Set, Connect, is about uh, establishing healthy ingredients in relationships. This is me, about is about establishing boundaries, free to be, and we're talking about finding who you are despite the controllers in your life. And then also we have my books and other resources below. You know, I know that you want to have some form of revenge. The best revenge that you can have is a life of integrity. That's something a narcissist cannot duplicate. And so live into your good integrity. And in doing so, despite the, the, the fact that narcissists are creators of misery, I hope that you can be somebody that says, I'm committed to my own steadiness, because I want to be a person of peace.